Hello and welcome and today I'm going to show you how to install Buildcraft for Minecraft 1.0.1 So first of all what you do is go to this link for the manual client install and once you're here it will tell you to install this mod loader, mod loader mp in Minecraft Forge so to do that if you hold command and click on the link it will go in a tab and then you do that for the rest of them and once you're in here as it said you needed mod loader and if you keep scrolling down from the top of the page mod loader 1.0.1 there and if you download direct straight in there and this now you need mod loader mp and there's mod loader mp unofficial so here it is there media file and if you go on there mod loader mp will load and we can close that and we've got that and then the last thing we needed was minecraft forge and then you can go on the media file link also and what you're on here download so we're getting all these in my downloads. Download Minecraft Forge. Now that you've got both of them, you want to go and head to download and build craft for 1.0. Oh, and then for this installation, I'm going to just install the core and transport. And it, but you can install all of them, and it'll still work the same. So let me just go and download these now. Download link below. Please wait two more seconds. There we go. So we download the mod straight in our downloads. Download mod straight in our downloads. We can close a few tabs now. Now that we've got all that, we'll minimize this. Ads. And we'll put all these on the page. So we've got Minecraft Core. There. And I will be right back. Sorry for this. And we're back. So then what you want to do is just drag out the other files, which I have also got too many items, so I'll have that too. Modload MP, Minecraft Forge, and Modloader. Now that we've done that, you want to go get a fresh Minecraft, unless you're experienced with mods and you know that they go together with something else. So I'm just going to do this. And this is for Mac OS Lion. You're going to go, I'll just do it again. Go, go to folder, and then you put in that code. Application support and then you get your minecraft down here but for snow leopard you need to go into your user and then there'll be a folder called library then application support and then you'll find where we are but because i'm online i need to do that go thing go to folder type in that code okay. application support minecraft and i'm just going to go ahead and remove this and this say get a new one remove it then just log into your account or however you've got minecraft so I'll be right back after I logged in and got my new account, well my new Minecraft and everything, so I'll be right back. Just got a totally new Minecraft as this, so if we just close out of that again, and I did accidentally close um, where we were in the folder, so I'll just go straight into that, and if you did as well, you can do the same. There's my new Minecraft, then you're going to be. Now for macOS Snow Leopard, you want to open with uh, the archive utility, but for macOS Lion users, you want to go in the unarchive like this. As on, and you can download the unarchive off at the app store for free. Just type it in the search bar. And I did accidentally run my. And I normally put a one at the front of Minecraft because just in case I mess up, I can always export it again. So anyway, I'll put a dot jar there. Go inside, and then you want to go arrange by kind. And it'll be different if you're on Snow Leopard to Lion because I'm on Lion, it goes like this, but for Snow Leopard, it's different. So now that you've done that, I'll just m delete meta inf. Now that meta inf is deleted, I'll just be right back again. Sorry, I'm sorry for that cut there. So as I was saying, you need to go and find um where, however you do it, and delete meta inf, which I think I did before. I really can't remember. So now that I've done that, just drag this to one side, and you want to go and install mod loader here, and then you'll go and install mod loader mp after. So all you do is highlight all the files. Command C and then command V to paste, apply to all, replace and now that you can just lob that one out of the way we'll go mod loader mp here copy all the files, command C command V apply to all, replace lob this out of the way and then you want to first install minecraft um, forge there it is and once you've got minecraft forge, so let's see is there any folders just the forge folder so command c there I think I did it command c command v 
Apply to all, replace. Big file there. And put that out of the way. And now you want to install the core here. First, this is the one you want to install. So I'm just going to copy all these, but then you hold command and press this and don't select that. Copy and paste all of them except net into here. But now on Minecraft.jar you want to go into the net folder, then Minecraft, and then stay there. Then net mod folder, Minecraft, and then you want to copy the source out of here, paste in there. And then that's forged. Well, that's core done. And then this is the next one you gotta do, which is the transport mod we installed. Well we're going to command C and then get back to your jar file. Command V. Um stop there a sec, sorry. And inside build craft, you wanna go inside build craft and here also. There it is. And uh you wanna add the core, the transport folder into the where the core is, sorry. And then you wanna just get these two files paste in there and then you then want to go into your net folder once again get more words mixed up where's net there we go net folder net folder minecraft source and put transport inside of the build craft in the source in here build craft there we go now as I'm going to install too many items to show the mod Let's just go and do that now. Too many items. And have I forgot a mod here? Uh, no, it don't matter. It's just another copy. So we're going to copy this. Command C, Command V. Well, if you want to install too many items, that is. But now let's go and run our Minecraft and see if it worked. Password in. There we go. And has it worked? Yep, it's worked. So now if we go create a new world really quick. Building terrain. What? <laughs> okay. Saving chunks. I will have to turn my settings down after this because my computer is really bad. Off, off, off. There we go. And if we go into here and go to the next page. You can see how we've got all the diamond gear and all the tubes because we've only installed the transport. We haven't got that much, but we still got all the pipes and all this. And what else has been added? I think that's it, just there. We've got the transport conductive. But if you install all the mods, this is a great mod and it's really easy to use too. So, yeah, thanks for watching how to install all this. And you can also install the other ones, as I said. And just do it the same as we installed the core and the transport. But yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe if this works and stuff. And just do whatever the hell you want. And yeah, thanks for watching. And if this didn't work, just message me and I'll fix it straight away. So.